speaker we have is Nissan Ron. He has lived in Rockland County since 1987. He has been politically conservative for most of his life. In 1995, he spoke at the Lincoln Memorial against crime, the crime bill in front of 5,000 people. He is part of our Rally for America group, and I enjoy when he speaks. Our Rally for America group has a big umbrella, and I would like you to I would like to introduce Mr. Braun. Thank you, Diane. Uh, yes, I'm Nissen Braun, and good afternoon. And again, even though it's been done before, we have to give the people who took the time out of their lives to organize this. Okay, we'll take the mic. Ooh, take the mic out. <laughs> We've got to once again give a round of applause to all of the people who took their time and their effort and their money to put this thing together so that all of us could be here. I'm a father of five children, all of whom are married, all of whom are working, and all, thank God, have given me grandchildren. And that's my problem. The future of my grandchildren worries me deeply on a number of fronts. There will never be enough money to pay off the debt being incurred by the current batch of Chicago thug totalitarians in office. Why? So right now, the U.S. government tax receipts are 61% of budgetary costs. The other 39% has to be borrowed. And even without the new programs and the new wonderful ideas, that's only going to continue to grow. Try running your house or your operation with only 61% of the funds and having to borrow the rest. You know how you end up? Broke, and that is where we're headed. With the wonderful health care bill, this could only grow. The expenditures will be 90% of gross domestic product by the year 2020. That's only 10 years from now. I've had enough of the profligate spend and more planned taxes. I have had enough. Oh. That's not all. Ever heard of cafe standards? It means corporate average fuel economy. And there is only one thing that it does. It doesn't help the fuel economy. It doesn't help with uh, reduced gas consumption. The only thing the cafe standards do is kill people. That's, right. That's it. And they're very good at that. That's right. Since 1975, at least 60,000 people have been killed unnecessarily because they were in small, light, cafe-compliant cars. Another 100, 350,000 were severely injured for the same reason. That's more in both categories than happened in the war in Vietnam. Where's the outrage? Where's the outcry? They're killing us. Now, they want to do more. They want to update the cafe standards so that we have even lighter cars and so even more people are killed because they don't care about people. They care about carbon emissions, they care about birds, they care about fish, they don't care about people. And you know what? I've had enough. That's not all. This book is the McGuffey's Eclectic Sixth Reader. This has been around in one revision or another since 1836. And between then and 1960, they have sold 120 million sets. Only the Bible and Webster's Dictionary is sold more, and they're still selling 30,000 a year. People read this system and they know how to read, but you know what? This book was for 6th and 7th graders. The sad part is, the average 10th or 11th grader today could not read this. But we have, we have the United States Department of Education, which has a budget for this fiscal year of $63.7 billion. That money is totally wasted. You're pouring it down the drain. I've had enough. There's going to be a little show and tell right here. I'm going to have to put the mic down. If this were the Constitution of the United States, here's what is happening to it.
and then you just crumble it up and throw it away because you don't need it anymore. And you know what? I've had enough of that too. The only way to destroy a deadly organism is to cut off its food. The deadly organism in D.C. is feeding on our money, our children's money, our grandchildren's money, and the money of unborn generations to be cut to tongue. They must be stopped. I've had enough. How about you? I've had enough.